Hey everyone, it's Elizabeth. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create reverse stamping nails. This is a really awesome and easy stamping technique. If you want to try it out, I'm going to show you how to do it, so let's get right into it. Of course, start off with a base coat. For stamping, I will be using this gorgeous floral stamping plate from Born Pretty Store. I will leave the link below for this one, and you can use my code EABW10 for 10% off. I highly recommend this plate, and it's so pretty and perfect for summer. Next, I'm taking a black stamping polish and scraping that over the pretty design that I want, and then picking it up with my stamper. And then I'm leaving the design on the stamper, and with a dotting tool, I am filling in the colors of the design that I want. I went with purple, pink, and blue. I thought that color combo was really pretty. And that's literally all you have to do. Just, I recommend being very careful with where you place the colors because you want nice clean lines. You don't want your colors to smear everywhere. So just make sure that you are placing your colors right inside the particular part of the design that you want. While I wait for the colors to dry, I'm applying a layer of white nail polish just to make sure that the decal pops when I place it on top. Next, I'm applying a thick layer of fast drying top coat just to make sure that I'll be able to pick up the design once it's dry. And then once it does dry, I am taking some tweezers and peeling it off of the stamper and it should look beautiful like that. Now I'm taking a layer of base coat to make sure that my nail is wet and then I'm just placing the decal onto my nail and pressing down firmly and then I'm also taking a cuticle pusher and just kind of cutting around my cuticle, just very gently pushing but also kind of forming it to my nail better. What you probably will want to do, and I didn't think to do this until just now watching the tutorial, is you might want to cut your design down to more of the size of your nail because then you'll have a lot less cleanup. I had to do quite a bit of cleanup and it was kind of annoying. So if you want, you might want to cut your decal down just a little bit. If not, this is what you do. You take a small cleanup brush dipped into some acetone and then I'm just going around the decal and then once I kind of have it mostly dissolved around my cuticle I'll be able to peel off some of the excess nail polish with some tweezers and then the rest that I'm not able to peel off I'm just going in with a larger cleanup brush to clean up those areas but like I said you're probably going to want to use some like little nail scissors and cut your decal more to the size of your nail. Once everything is dry, apply a layer of top coat and that's it. Reverse stamping nails are really easy to do and I think that the results are absolutely beautiful. I hope you guys like these too. Let me know what you think of this technique in the comments below. Thank you as always so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.